This is a 1930 Ford double A truck cut down and made into a doodle bug. It's got the uh, ton and a half frame, axles, and wheels. You can see the uh, the frame cut off with a trailer hitch mount welded to the front of it. Got a broken wheel here. Ford Model A engine. Twenty-four inch tractor tires with some kind of really early, I guess, truck spoke wooden spoke wheels, probably from the mid twenties, and a huge dump truck or some kind of rear end. I'm not even sure what it is. It's got mechanical brakes. Got the engine, the original four-speed transmission. An auxiliary transmission and then this huge rear end. It also has a PTO mounted to the auxiliary transmission which might be kind of cool to get working. Two shifters, the front one for the truck transmission and the second one for the auxiliary transmission. Another neat thing is it also has a governor on it which would this rod would be hooked to the carburetor back here to the carburetor and it would allow the engine to run at one constant RPM and it would govern it say like an 1800 or whatever, whatever you had it set to. So that's kind of cool. Let's try to get it off the trailer. I'm not sure not sure if the transmissions in the rear transmissions in neutral or not The shifter is out of the back transmission. I've got to stick the screwdriver in, it's stuck in a gear. I got to try to pop it back in the neutral so the rear end will roll because the motor is locked and I don't have anybody to push the clutch in. After all that, let's see if I'll roll off of here. Ah.
I'm going to go lose the trailer and get the Jeep and try to pull this on over here. Well, this is where we're going to stay for now because it's getting dark. we just have to come along and back into place later. But That's the doodle bug. The 30 doodle bug. And let's see what project it turns into. Well, I'm glad I got this off the trailer yesterday before it started snowing. In case anybody's wondering, the reason I didn't use the tow truck from the other videos is because it's put away in the barn. And the only thing I could get out was the Jeep, so that's why I struggled around with the come-alongs and all that. If I had the uh, tow truck out, it would have been a lot easier to move it around, but it's stuck in a pole barn until springtime. 